Welcome y'all. I'm going to be uh, restoring the axe head that my father-in-law gave me. It was in his garage and it was used to uh, split a whole bunch of asphalt kegs for his roofing company. And uh, this is what it looks like now. I'm going to use an old, old wood chisel that I just cleaned up. I was like, ah, I just cleaned it up. I can clean it up again. I've got to get all the asphalt off of it. You can see I've already started here. I got to get all the asphalt off of here and then get it all cleaned up. Then I'm going to get it sand down. I'm going to see what kind of axe head it is. I mean, I don't know where he got it from. But anyway, I'll take you along for the ride. Yeah, so I'm just going to clean off all of this. Taking something that's doesn't look you doesn't look usable anymore and making it usable again. Uh, I'm not a, a big axe freak or nothing. I mean, not, some people are you know really into the old antique axes and stuff. There's a lot of history they have. I don't, you know. Uh, but I said, well, let me. I'll take that old axe head and I'll see what I can do with it. But today I'm just gonna get all the asphalt off of here and then I'm gonna spray it with some solvent to dissolve whatever whatever asphalt's on there I can't get off with this scraper I'd like to see if there's any markings on here to tell me what kind of you know where it came from or is it just old you know, cheap one from from a store. Uh, again, he uh, he used it to chop up kegs of asphalt before he put them in the kettle, so they'd melt faster. Kind of like crushed ice melts faster than cubed ice. Same concept. Uh, I'll get you on time lapse. Let you see the rest of this. Tested a couple different, couple different uh, spray cans of stuff. I've got some WD-40, and I've got some Free All here. And I've got some This is called Kano. That's what we called it. This stuff eats rust. I mean, eats it. So I don't know if it's going to get the, the asphalt as well. But hey, man, we'll try it all. See what happens. Put a little bit of each. See what comes of it. Let her just sit there and sit there and run for a little bit and see what happens. And one thing I tell you about this this Kano stuff, it would like always search out, like it would really go into the cracks, and you can see how it's just running off the top of this really fast. And I think that's probably why it it did what it did. 
I'm gonna let that sit right there. I'll time lapse that and see what, see if any changes happen. All right, let's see if anything's happening with this. So there's the, the free all. Let me see if God AutoZone said this is the best stuff since sliced bread. So uh, I don't know if it's the best stuff since sliced bread. This is the best rust eater there is. So, but then again, we're not really eating rust here, right? We're uh, trying to clean asphalt off an ax. So, and yes, gasoline works fine, but I don't want to stink the garage up, man. It's too cold to leave the door open. I mean, you got some of it off there. And again, Kano, look at that stuff, man. I bet this stuff is doing the, doing the deed. It just attacks, I mean. It's hard to tell on there, isn't it? All right, and here's the WD-40. Old trusty WD. And it looks like WD's doing the, doing the number on that sucker. So out of all of them, hell, I can't tell. <laughs> Thought, yeah, it's good to do a trial anyway, right? Can't say any one's better than the other. I'll tell you right now, this stuff gets down in the pores. That Kano gets down in the pores of it. Aero Krill, my brand name's Kano. But for this, looks like old trusty WD-40 had enough, had enough uh, solvent in it to get more of it out. As you can see, it's a little bit more cleaner. Kano, I don't know, I don't know if it absorbs into the metal or what. Again, a little bit more out of, well, I did more on this side than I did here. So I think I got more on the, I think WD-40 did the best. So. We'll WD-40 this whole side and we'll just watch it eat. <laughs>